Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have a report about incoming geostorms for you and also some intel on solving a black magic trick that I encountered some years ago. On 28 February 2023, there was an M8.6 class solar flare that is likely to create a mild G1 class geostorm here on Earth today and tomorrow, the 4th and 5th of March, 2023. Yesterday, 3 March, 2023, at about 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, there was an X2 class solar flare. That mild X flare produced a coronal mass ejection, or CME, that looks to me to be Earth-directed. If that is so, then there may be a related geostorm two or three days from, from now. As you may know, I have a theory that geostorms allow clearing of Earth malware. You could say they shed much needed light on dark tangles in Earth's noosphere. I find, from a Claire perspective, that I get insights into the dark a few days prior to geostorms and then ongoing into geostorms as well. I will describe an insight I had last night that I feel may have to do with the mild geostorm anticipated by space weather, that's https colon slash slash www.spaceweather.com. Last Sunday at church, I thought I spotted the leader of the West Coast section of a black magic group whom I had encountered at about solar maximum during solar cycle 24, about 11 years ago. It was hard to tell because the person I thought might be she was wearing a COVID mask. Whether or not that is so, a lot has come up both then at the church service and again last night in the Dreamtime realm. At the church, I was concerned about black magic spell casting as it seemed there were five people from the West Coast group at the church and I had issues with those people in regard to that priorly. The specialty of that group 11 years ago seemed to me to be a psychic swoon technique. Three people in the group would, it seems to me, aim energy and dark mantras or chants subvocally at various parts of my energy array and cause me to crumple up from a sitting position in a chair and lunge forward towards the floor. The question was, why would they do that? What was the point anyway? Last night, in a half-dreaming state, I got an answer from the leader of the West Coast group. She said that the nationwide leader of the group, her black magic boss, as it were, had taught the West Coast group this technique to force the victims to obey his will. According to my dream, he told her that getting the victims to swoon and faint five times during a meditation session would do this. When I heard that, I realized that both the West Coast group and the boss's Central United States group had had prominently displayed in the meditation room a Shiva Lingam. Shiva is known in Hinduism as the destroyer. The Lingam is a stylized penis. The penis represents generative or creative power, yet Shiva represents destructive power. Thus, the Shiva Lingam 
as I unfortunately learned about a decade ago, might be a favorite of a confidence gang that practices murder to avoid recrimination when they fleece their victims, for example. It occurred to me last night that the Black Magic group leader might have thought in his subconscious mind that the Shiva Lingam in the meditation rooms represented his own penis and that it was his penis that exerted power over the group. This is by way of subconscious imagery. That might also explain why, at least according to the psychic plane, back then, 10 years ago, I had terrible visions of the leader of that group cutting off the penises of the men in his group. What that might signify, whether in the dream time realm or in real life, was, it seemed to me, that he wanted no other men in the group to have power than he himself, you see. He wanted to be the only one with power in the group. I would just like to say right now that if there was any physical fact to this, then I consider this to be a completely inhumane and unethical thing to do. I feel it's very wrong, and I feel if he is taking control of the minds of people and then emasculating the men, I feel it, it, we should do our best as Christians to try and stop this kind of barbaric procedure. I feel it should be illegal. Uh, that's just an aside. <laughs> and to continue, in the psychic swoon, or the bowing down black magic trick might subconsciously be perceived as bowing down to the group leader's penis. Then in that case, one might negate the effect of the black magic technique in a very simple manner. I thought one might construct a tissue paper version of the Shiva Lingam visualize it as the black magic power of this wicked group of conjurers, and then flatten the mock-up model with a hammer. The problem is this might adversely affect my romantic prospects, I felt. What man on earth would cozy up to a woman who had flattened a Shiva Lingam, I wondered. It might be better to just pretend to do such a thing telepathically. I gave it a try last night telepathically, and it worked like a charm. Nevertheless, I suggest caution in using such a mean and angry visualization. It just does not seem that A-OK -okay to me. You might ask, what if the odds are greatly against me? Suppose there are 35 of those black magic people and only one of me. If a mean and angry visualization does the trick and nothing else works, how ought one to proceed? As kindly as possible, I feel, while still preserving the lives and the free will of those we love. To find out more about what happened to me with regard to that psychic swoon uh, about 10 years ago, you can go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and search for the blog title, Compendium, Psychic Murder, Bow Down to Me Psychic Swoon. That has links to all of the blogs uh, regarding the psychic swoon, which I found extraordinarily traumatic and which I hope you never have to endure. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe 
and be with you through all your days. So long till next time.